In this video, it is discuss what is axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is a line that divides an object into half and creates a mirror image of each other. This line or axis may be horizontal, vertical or an inclined axis. Some examples of axis of symmetry. The following is example of square. A square has two axis of symmetry that is y axis and x axis. Both if are passing through its centroid then these lines act as axis of symmetry for a square. That means y axis alone on both sides of y axis there is mirror image of square and on both sides of x axis similarly there is a mirror image of square. So there are two x possibilities of making mirror image of the square. So two axes of symmetries. Similarly in this unsymmetric shape there is only one axis of symmetry and it is unsymmetric about x axis. It is symmetric about y axis. This is an unsymmetric shape. No mirror image can be formed about any axis. Equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. That is line 1, line 2 and line 3 can form mirror images of this triangle. So three lines of symmetry. An isosceles triangle in which two angles are equal has one line of symmetry. A scalene triangle with in which no angles are equal has no lines of symmetry. Rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Parallelogram has two axes of symmetry. This and this shape you can see there is a mirror image possible. So the line on which either side can form a mirror image is known as axis of symmetry for this image. Considering the inclined axis for a square, we may have four lines of symmetry as well as eight lines of symmetry including the inclined axis in total. A circle may have infinite possibilities of making mirror images when a line passes through its centroid. So there are infinite lines of symmetry for a circle. Types of symmetry. Bilateral symmetry balanced arrangement of equivalent elements about common axis. That means one axis of symmetry may also be known as bilateral symmetry. Radial symmetry. Equivalent elements balance among two or more axes that intersect at center point in which two axes or more axes of symmetry comes then it is known as radial symmetry. Thank you for watching.